With the release of the Mini 2 being imminent, there's three features that consumers really want this drone to have. We know that it has OcuSync, will it have the other two? Let's find out. Hi, I'm Ashton Droning on, and if you enjoy this kind of content, then hit that subscribe button below. I'm sure by now you're all bored of the Mini 2 videos, but there are two big questions that are still pending, which at the moment we don't quite know about this new drone. Ever since the launch of the original Mavic Mini, three features have been desperately wanted by consumers. They are Active Track, Raw Photos, and OcuSync. We already know that the new Mini 2 will definitely have OcuSync, but we didn't know until now whether or not it would have Active Track and Raw photo capabilities. However, courtesy of a brand new listing which has just appeared on the Media Mart webpage, I think we have an answer about Raw. Let's start with that. Raw photo capability is basically a way of capturing photos without the usual limitations of compressed photo formats such as JPEG. Following all of the Best Buy leaks, a listing has now appeared on the Media Markt webpage in Germany. And this webpage reveals a lot of specifications about the drone that we haven't seen before. Scrolling down through the specifications, we eventually get to the camera and the video specifications. And there you can clearly see that it states DNG RAW. DNG is one of a few different types of raw photo container, but this certainly does show that the Mavic Mini 2 may indeed have the raw photo feature. Now this listing has appeared prior to the launch of the product, but this listing looks accurate in every other way that I can see, and therefore I don't see any reason why this would be incorrect. In addition, it's a no-brainer to provide RAW. It's simply a software feature that they can easily embed into the app. Capturing photos in RAW format generates a much larger file, sometimes over 10 times the size, but that's because the file contains significantly more information about brightness, contrast, and dynamic range, and therefore it means you can do a whole lot more with that photo in post-editing. The average consumer out there really does not need RAW photo capability, but if you're an amateur or budding photographer, then you definitely will benefit from having this. So based on this, I think it's very positive and we can only just hope that this little new drone has RAW when it arrives in the next week or so. The next big feature that's really missing for many consumers for the Mavic Mini is Active Track. Now, the reason I believe that Active Track was never enabled out of the box for the original Mavic Mini is because of one key thing. This little drone has no obstacle sensing besides the obstacle sensing underneath. And even then, they're not really as accurate as the optical type of object sensing because these are actually just infrared. The bigger drones such as the Mavic 2 and the Mavic Air 2 have optical sensing, which is basically a stereo vision set of cameras that can see obstacles and build a 3D map. Whereas infrared is just really for range and close proximity, it also has really bad latency. And therefore it's not been accurate enough for DJI to be responsible for people using active track where the drone can't actually tell if it's gonna hit something. With safety being so key in the drone industry right now, DJI can't afford a bad news story of a drone flying autonomously into somebody's face because it had no obstacle avoidance sensing. Third party applications do provide active track for the Mavic Mini, but they're not very successful and the tracking is pretty terrible. So unfortunately, if you need active track, you need to buy a bigger drone. So that's all we have right now. They're the key features. OcuSync, we know it definitely has. Raw photo quality, it looks like it will do. Active track, unfortunately, is not gonna happen. Still, at this point, we've heard of a theoretical release date of the 4th of November, but that's just less than a week away. And still, we have no teaser image, no teaser video, and no event date. And so this just all seems very, very odd. Perhaps DJI have gone for a little bit of a different release strategy on this occasion. Instead of the big, exciting event, they may just quietly launch this into retail shops. But this would be a massive move away from the usual DJI style and a massive anti-climax. But in the current times, perhaps DJI are considering shifting it up a little bit and changing things around to see how it works. Either way, stay subscribed to Droning On and tick that little bell icon next to the subscribe button. That way, as soon as we put out some breaking news, you'll be the first to watch it. Comment below with your thoughts about these three features on the Mavic Mini 2. Give this video a thumbs up or a thumbs down if you need obstacle avoidance. And of course, hit the subscribe button. Thank you very much for watching.